Once we have aligned the cast, we then proceed on to analysing the cast using our first dental surveyor tool, the analysing rod. The analysing rod is placed into the chuck and screwed tightly into position. The vertical spindle is able to move up and down. The analysing rod is used to assess the teeth surfaces. By placing the analysing rod up against the teeth, we are able to see if there are any parallel surfaces. As we can note, this tooth here has tilted forwards and when we place the analysing rod up against the tooth, we can see a triangle of light. That triangle of light is known as an undercut. In order to find the desired position, we must make sure that these triangles of light between the two teeth are as equal as possible. We must tilt the cast in order to find a position that is desirable to help seat the denture into place. The desired position of the cast is never more than 10 degrees from the initial alignment of the cast table. Once the two triangles of light have been assessed and an equal measurement is found, we are then able to lock the table in this position. In order to do so, we hold the cast table and move the locking screw in a clockwise direction, ensuring that the table does not move from this orientation. Once in position, the table is now unable to move. We are able to use the analysing rod to check the triangles of light once more.